name's John Cordy, and in the 70s I was actually involved in a, a bit of a thing. Um, but essentially, in those days, for actors working in kind of the western side of film movies, you know, you've got your Clint Eastwood, you've got your Paul Newmans, you've got your whoever, there was this circulating rumour that some of them might in fact be homosexual. And obviously we know that's fine now, but back then attitudes were different. There was sort of a bit of a witch hunt. And anyway, there was this kind of sort of little group of kids that would run around and they'd try and implicate these actors. And there was one day when there was sort of a group of them together and they were sort of Boy Scouts, I guess you could say. And uh, I heard them shouting, John, Wayne, gay, see? And they'd seen a couple people at it. Anyway, that's why they're in my crawl space. I showed them a magic trick. Don't ask any more questions about it. My name is John Cordy, you can rest assured that in this video I am wearing leather trousers, you just can't see them because I'm focusing on the HX stomp. Uh, I was asked by my friend Chris Elphick if I could build a kind of Ingve preset, so I did a little bit of research and I've also been asked if I could do something for the stomp and for the helix, so in this video I'm going to be transferring my preset from the Podgo to the HX stomp, I figured that would be the easiest way to talk through what's going on. So, start off with... I'm using the Playcator Dirty amp channel. The reason for that is that the, the Friedman stuff, I believe, is pretty closely modelled on a Marshall anyway. And I wasn't sure whether he'd be using kind of jumped inputs or stuff. And the word Plexi kind of doesn't really mean too much. I think there's a whole range of amps which fit into that Plexi thing. So I thought, well, we'll just go with the Playcator Dirty. So the drive I've got set to six. The bass I've got set to three. The mids, I've boosted up to 10. Uh, I think it's got a fairly mid-heavy kind of tone. And then the treble is down at 2. I believe martial amps tend to have quite a lot of sizzle as it is. So the presence I've got down at kind of 2.1. And then let's have a look. Channel volume, I've left at 8.2. Master at 5.2. Sag, HBE off. So everything else here is as it is default setting so I'm just going to press save on that so those are the amp settings that I used then amp wise I know that I think Ingve favours a Marshall style cabinet from the 60s or 70s and there's an interview where he talks about using I think 75 watt speakers so I found this 1960s Marshall cab um, with T75 speakers and I'm using the 67 condenser mic with a distance of one inch and I've left the high cuts where they are and I've turned up the early reflections to seven and that's my cab settings. So you might also want to experiment with using a dual cab and you could use maybe in pair with that maybe a ribbon mic or you could pair a dynamic mic. If you want more brightness I'd suggest a dynamic mic. Um, for me this is about as bright uh, a lead tone as I'd like to use. I think Ingves is fairly bright. I'm just going to go to the delays and reverbs. I'm using a stereo dual delay for this. I've left the, the, the times where they are, but I've upped the feedback a bit to how I would generally set them. I'm not exactly sure. I think he uses some sort of rack delay. Um, uh, I'm going to turn the left mix down to 28 the left feedback up to 56 the right feedback should also be at 56 and then the right mix down at 29 and that's a dog right don't worry I'm back no one died so yeah what we're we doing here the mix I've got set down lower to sort of 28 29 and I think that's the only thing. Oh, I've also got the chorus on and I've got the depth at 35%, speed 0.5, so all default there. And then at the very end of the chain, I've got a glitz reverb, I think with my kind of favorite settings, not that I've got that set up on this particular. So at the very end, I've got a glitz reverb with the decay at 5.6. 
pre-delay down at 0.3, low cut off, high cut at 16, the mix down to 19, and I think everything else is default settings. All of the settings, and then the very last important part is the Dodd OD250. So for this, I've got the gain up at 9.3, quite a lot of gain, and quite a lot of level at 8.3. So that's the settings that I've got. You may want to experiment with having a gate, because obviously that's quite noisy. And I think an important component is to have humbucking pickups. <laughs> And that's my kind of suggestions for an Ingve preset. Obviously you can make your own adjustments from here, but that's what I've done and I think it sounds roughly in that kind of ballpark. You might want to go a bit brighter or, yeah, adjust to your own preferences, but that's kind of what I was thinking would work. So hopefully that's vaguely interesting. I'm gonna do some playing at the start of the video now with this preset and I'll put it in my folder for those people that want it. Thank you for stopping by. If you wanted to like and subscribe, you could. And I'll catch you for another video soon. Cheers.